Well, after several weeks of missed predictions and no developments, I gotta say, I am not wild about how Destiny 2's season of The Lost is ending. Don't get me wrong, I'm very excited for the Witch Queen, but at this point, we only have two resets left, and it's very clear we are probably shaping up for a last minute final lost quest for Save a Thun's Exorcism. The yawning storytelling gap here in this 6 month season has been a challenge. When the season started all the way back in August, there were 7 weeks of new lost story developments before everything froze on October 5th. Since then, it's been 4 months essentially zero movement in the story, not really what you want to see from a live service game, and this is a break that itself has lasted longer than most entire seasons, which are generally 3 months. Bungie did manage to fill this gap with loot and activities, Dares of the Eternity and the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon, but those were entirely outside Season of the Lost, and did not continue anything relating to those storylines. It's weird, because Destiny has done more with much less hyped expansions than Witch Queen before this. The run-up to the Onlight's launch had weeks of planetary evacuation and then a final live event where the Traveler healed itself that players could participate in. But ahead of the Witch Queen, there's been nothing. No return to the story, no environmental clues changing week to week, no secret puzzles, no planned live event. It's strange, because this feels like a missed opportunity to me. The hype around Bungie and Destiny has never been higher. The company was just sold to Sony for $3. 6 billion, expressing extreme faith in Destiny and the team running it. The Witch Queen is on pace to be the most pre-ordered expansion in the game history. So to me, that's why a 4. 5 month break in the story during a 6 month season does not seem like the right play here. I have no real problem with the content of the story we have gotten in Season of the Lost. I think that in particular the exploration of Aldrin's past relationship with Mara was interesting, as were Savathon's conversations. But things ended on an abrupt dandy climax where Cole learned about his true nature and then just disappeared from the story with no real reaction for the next 4 months, off doing something with KATL, which may continue in Season 16, judging by recent trailer hints. I suppose this is the problem with live service games and delays that force things like this. If Witch Queen had a traditional fall release we wouldn't be having this conversation, 